What's up, guys? Matt Salter, Bearded Irish Vapor from Big D Vape Academy here. Probably bringing you guys another juice review. Today I got for you Poison Elixir and Strawberry Dreams. Now, I'd like to give a big shout out to Marcus, my juice vendor, creator of Poison Elixir for a few things. First off, you'll notice my camera quality is a hell of a lot better. That's because he hooked me up with this lovely Logitech camera. Records in 1080p. <coughs> Brings the life out of these videos. I'm telling you what, I'm sitting here staring at myself. And, man, you really notice everything. The beard's looking a little scruffy today. I might have to fix that. But, I figured I'd bring you guys another juice review with a new camera. And, like I said, today I'm going to use Strawberry Dream. Now, this is just another one of his creams out of his line. Um, I get mine Max VG, 3 milligrams. You can go down to 1.5. I do that once in a while when I get burned down to 3 nick. I mean, I vape so much now that it's like sometimes 3 nick honestly makes me a little sick. Gives me a headache, feel dizzy. So I'll drop down to the 1.5 milligram today. Rocking it out this homemade PWM mod. Ain't nothing fancy, ain't nothing special. It hits like a train. Got it over my Zephyr on top. Running some, uh, see if we can get the camera to focus in on here. There you go, some uh, dual flappings. You can see she's rowdy. Put some fresh drips on here. Let's have her something full. Man. So right off the bat, initial inhale, you hit the fire button. You get that nice smooth creaminess that you get out of his vapes. Now most of his juices are predominantly a cream line, which I like because it helps with the smooth fact of everything. The exhale is where it really shines. It's not an overpowering strawberry like most vapes. Like honestly, I love Cutwood's Unicorn Milk. However, that strawberry is very overpowering. Most strawberry juices I have have one of two problems. Either too much strawberry, not enough strawberry. This one, for me, is right down the middle. That's why I enjoy it so much. I'd give this one, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is my, it's 9 out of 10 for me. I don't give anything a time. I don't care what it is. Nothing's perfect. This one, though, man, not exhale, you get those nice, nice, it's a subtle strawberry accent. It's, it's there to tell you it's there. But it's not there to smack you in the face. It's just an excellent juice. All of his juices, excellent juices. I can't say anything bad about him. And no, it's not because he's my juice sponsor. And you know what? I, I've gotten a lot of that. I've gotten a couple questions where people say, you know, you're kind of one-sided right now. All you've really done is poison mix reviews. There's a reason for that. When I started doing reviews for Marcus and he became my juice sponsor, he told me, he goes, look, I have 16 flavors in my line, full line. I need a review for each and every one of them to put up on the website. And I said, you know what? Fine with me. That'll, uh, that'll be a good jump off point, you know? It'll give me good 16 starter videos. I'll sprinkle in some other juice companies here and there, which, by the way, I do have a secondary review follow-up video to the Drip Vault Cream Pie. Um, it was terrible originally. I didn't even want to touch it, but I let it steep for a week and a half, and I feel that it's worth revisiting, so we'll do that. Um, got a lot of big things coming up, some new mods coming in I'm really excited about. Uh, we're also going to be doing a creator segment where I sit down with Marcus, you know, face-to-face, -face, same room, and just talk to him a little bit, why he got into making juice, where he sees his company in the next five, ten years, what his future plans are, how he feels about the current industry and how it's going, and uh, just kind of get to know him a little bit. You know, I feel that it's good to know who's behind making the juice. I mean, I haven't seen too many videos where people can sit down and talk with a juice creator. I mean, there's a few out there. You know, the owner of Southern Sky E-Juice will sit down and talk with you. You know, you can get to know him real well. The owner of Five Folds Vapor, you know, there's just a, a lot of stand-up juice makers, and I feel that 
yes, their juice deserves the spotlight to help sales. But for me, I like to get to know the people who make it. Why are they making it? What are they doing to become better in their field? You know, what else can they bring to the table that not other any other anyone else is doing? You know, so be on the lookout for that video. If you guys have any questions, feel free. Get a hold of me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Matthew Salter, facebook.com slash Big D Vape Academy. Send me a comment on YouTube. Let me know how things are going. If you'd like to see more of something, I'm currently working on fixing uh, that big white wall behind me. You know, trying to look into a tapestry or something, maybe a big old sub symbol, something. Um, maybe a nice Irish tapestry, you know, get a little Celtic knot work in there. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But uh, thanks for checking it out. Have a good day.